Good morning students. In this video, we are going to continue with the poem, The Cold Within by James Patrick Kinney. So let's discuss the objectives first. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand critical appreciation, style and literary devices of this poem. Let's discuss the critical appreciation of the poem. The first is background. The cold within written in the 1960s was thought to be a controversial poem and was not accepted for publication. It appeared in a Catholic magazine named Lucarian. Since then it has received immense appreciation and is one of the most popular inspirational poems of our times. It has appeared in countless church bulletins, websites and newspapers. So, the poem Cold Within was written by James Patrick Kinney in the 1960s. It was not published earlier as it was thought to be a controversial poem. But then, it appeared in Catholic magazine named Lucarian since then, it is considered as one of the most popular inspirational poems. Next is setting. The poem, which is a parable, is set in the western part of Cincinnati, Ohio, a place where the blacks were simply hated and ignored in the times the poem refers to. There was a law which prohibited the blacks from appearing in public places after the dark, though it was repealed later. Students, here repealed means cancelled. So, normally the setting of this poem can be anywhere, but the story is set in a place named Cincinnati, Ohio. So, it was written at the time when the black people were hated and they were not allowed to appear in public places after the dark. The next one, message. The poem is simple and straightforward. Nothing is complex or mysterious about it. It appeals to our heart forcefully. It asks us to give up all our prejudices. We should stop being unkind and generous, greedy, revengeful or spiteful. If we do not give up our prejudices, we are sure to hurt ourselves and others equally. Prejudices which are sins are self-destructive. Now children, what is the message? As I told you earlier, the message of this poem is very simple and direct that we all should give up our prejudices that is sins and we should stop being unkind, ungenerous, greedy, revengeful or spiteful. And if we will not give up our prejudices or sins, then finally we will die. The next is title. The title of the poem, The Cold Within, is simple, apt and suggestive. In the last stanza, the poet himself explains it. The coldness which we carry in our hearts is dangerous and fatal. It prevents us from reaching out to others, from helping and saving ourselves and others. It makes us lead a sinful life. The aptness of the title comes through the tragic end of the six men who hold on to their sticks and let the life-saving fire go out in the deadly cold outside. They are consumed by the cold within their hearts. Now students, the title of the poem, The Cold Within, is simple. It is appropriate and suggestive also. At the end of the poem, the poet has told us that the people actually died with the cold within. Through this only, we have come to know that those six people died. There was cold outside also and there was cold within also. But they died due to the cold within. So, the title is appropriate. Next, coming up to the style, the first is form. Students, 
Form tells us the type of poem, like there is ballad and sonnets. So here, the first stanza of the poem makes it clear that the narrator is going to tell a story of six men trapped in a difficult situation. A situation from which there is no escape. Six humans trapped by happenstance in bleak and bitter cold. Each one possessed a stick of food or so the story is told. The poem is in fact a parable, a story with a moral. It is so because the narrator or the poet is trying to bring home a very important lesson to his audience. The end of the six men from the coldness from within and not from without is a plea against harboring prejudices or sins such as racism, envy, arrogance, revenge and greed. Children note down the meanings of these difficult words. Plea is request, harboring, holding. So here the poem The Cold Within is a parable which means a story with a moral. Now why is it a parable? Because the poet is trying to tell us a very important message. The important message is that if we will not give up the prejudices we are going to die or we are not going to find a place in the world. So we should be away from sins like racism, envy, arrogance, revenge, and greed, etc. Now next is diction. Students, diction means the style of writing as dependent on the choice of the words. As in a parable, the words used by the poet are simple, accepting the word happenstance, which may seem odd to the present generation. The word Happenstance is deliberately used to suggest that the situation in which six men have been trapped is prearranged, even though it is accidental. There is no escape from it. The poet says, six humans trapped by happenstance in bleak and bitter cold. Okay, now here students, all the words used in this poem are simple except the word happenstance which means by chance. The poet has used this word to tell that although they have met by chance but the situation was prearranged and there is no escape from it. The word humans in place of people or persons is purposeful. The word humans endorsed to six humans representative character. So here children, the poet has deliberately used the word humans in place of people because he has not limited this point to only those six persons or people by using the word humans. He has generalized the idea that all human beings in general suffer from such prejudices. The use of figurative language is simple but effective. For example, the line, he gave his coat a hitch, shows that the poor man in tattered clothes is not gen generous and is jealous. Now here children, hitch means pull, tattered means torn and deliberately means intentionally. Now children, in the poem you will find that poor man gave his coat a hitch. It is a symbolic of the poverty of poor man, that is, his clothes are tattered. Also, it shows that he is not generous and he is jealous. So, here the poet has chosen the words very carefully according to the requirement of the poem. Now students, let us come to the literary devices. The first is symbols. The use of symbols throughout the poem is almost self-explanatory. Logs of wood in each is suggestive of sin. It becomes obvious that if logs are added to the dying fire, it will mean helping out someone other than one's own self. If the logs are held back, as indeed they are, 
it means holding on to the sins even beyond death each man's prejudice envy greed revenge spite intolerance is thus symbolically represented by the stick of wood in each hand students the symbol here is log of wood and here log of wood is the symbolic of sins which they were not ready to give up it becomes obvious that if they would have given their sticks that is sins to the dying fire they would have survived but they held their logs back which means they held on to the sins even beyond death that means each one of them was holding a prejudice that is envy greed revenge spite intolerance and these are symbolically represented by the stick of wood in each hand the coal within is a metaphor now what is the meaning of metaphor metaphor is a literary device that shows the likeness between two things without using the words as or like for lack of warmth hard heartedness self centeredness and inability to reach out to others it is more dangerous than anything else students so here we are comparing the cold within with the lack of warmth hard heartedness self centeredness and inability to reach to the others next is rhyme each stanza having four lines uses the rhyme scheme a b c b which is an easy read this rhyme helps the rhythm to be fast as is essential in storytelling the fast rhythm is in line with the theme of the poem how fast greed intolerance and arrogance can ruin you so here students the rhyming scheme of this poem is a b c b each stanza has four lines that means the second line rhymes with the fourth line it is an easy rhyme scheme and it helps in the rhythm of the poem which is very important when you are telling a story so just like greed intolerance and arrogance can ruin a person very quickly in the same way the poet has used the rhythm that is also very fast so this brings us to the end of today's session now students you have to plan the poem with the help of workbook and note down the meanings of difficult words in your textbook thank you